Hello guys and welcome to a game that is brand new to my channel and it is called Survival on Raft in the Ocean. Now I'm really excited about this game. Um, there's su uh, survival mode and then there is creative mode. Right now I'm on creative mode so this I can actually relax, um, talk about the game, and then we'll get into survival. So this is a game where you are the lone survivor of a plane crash. And you have to collect resources, you have to um, like fish for food, you have to cook the food, you have to purify your water. And so what we're going to look at now is just some of the basics that um, you should probably know if you're going to be playing this game. So first off, um, as you guys can see, I have a fishing rod in my hand. So that is going to allow us to catch a lot of delicious fish that we can then cook on these things right here. So what you're going to need is you're going to need to construct these using materials that you have gathered. You are then going to need to put um, some wood underneath it and then that should allow you to start cooking your fish. So you will have monitors that will tell you your, um, like your hunger level and your thirst level. So now that we know what we need to do in order to catch um, fish, let's just real quickly talk about um, collecting some resources. So these are things that you will be able to unlock and they will allow you to collect the material that you need to build items on your raft. Now these are extremely helpful and useful and I would definitely recommend once you're able to unlock this feature to definitely start using it because it's like free resources pretty much. You can do, you can multitask, you can do other things and it'll collect it for you without you even having to put effort into it. So right here what we have is our, let's just call it our purifying stations. And what those do is we will have a bucket and in that bucket we would go over here and we would collect some water. And once we've done that, we will then walk over here. We will put the water in there and we'll also need to add wood to it. And once you do that, then you can start the process of uh, purifying your water. Once that is done, you will then, if you look at the bottom of my screen, I have a cup that has some water in it. So once you have done that, you can then drink the water and you'll be able to keep your thirst up. Um, I think it would be very beneficial if you have more than one of these. Also, as you play this game and collect different resources, you may run out of storage space. That would be a good time to construct one of these. This is a chest and you can put um, different items in it, um, different tools that you have craft. Um, and as you guys can see, I have like carrots and coconuts. And the reason why I have that is because if we go all the way over here, you can plant items. So you guys will have some seeds that you get from collecting resources and you put them in here and then you will be able to um, plant them and over time they will grow carrots, their stuff for growing cabbage and other items like that and that'll help keep you healthy and um, once you do that you could store them um, in one of those chests and just use them as a food resource when you need it. Also here, and this is something I haven't unlocked in the survival mode, is you can collect rainwater. And let's just, let me see if I can just magically float above here so to give you an idea of how it works so as you guys can see this is considered god mode when you're able to like float up and then look down so these things right here will help us collect the rainwater that we need so if you have this going on as well as the um, water purifier it'll be very beneficial for you guys and also something you will be able to unlock eventually will be these spikes and the important of these spikes is that they keep Mr. Shark away who let's see where are you you're somewhere but we'll see him eventually so with that said we've talked about water we've talked about um, gathering resources we've talked about fishing also you can create a shelter which is what I have done here actually oh, there's the shark okay so at this, 
<laughs> this shelter here is nothing like really uh, fancy or anything. I was just trying to show you guys that you can construct things. Uh, and maybe I'll destroy all this and uh, then maybe construct something that's a little bit more um, reasonable and um, has a little bit more effort put into it. So what we have, oh my God, I can't get in. Okay, so in here what we have, we have some carpets and more importantly, we have a bed. The bed, um, you won't be able to unlock until I think level nine, but you can actually sleep in the bed. And so if it's nighttime and you sleep, it'll then be daytime. And also something that I really like about this game is how pretty it is at night. Very beautiful at nighttime, the stars are pretty. Um, just a really awesome thing going on with the scenery and stuff. So if we go over here and we go up these steps and open this and we walk in. Also, by the way, what did I do? Okay. Also, so I am, if <laughs> you've been watching this, you have noticed that I have torches all over the place. And it's important to note that it, you can construct the torches, but what you're going to need in order to have them burn is remember when we were, I was showing you guys how to cook the fish. Well, what you're going to have to do is once you're done cooking a fish, you take a cup and you click on the area where you can cook it. And what that does is it collects fish fat. And that fat then you can use to make these different torches burn. So I just wanted to let you guys be aware of that. So this is my upstairs and I definitely wanted to be able to look out at the ocean. It looks really pretty. Um at dawn and dusk, you know, with the different sunsets and sunrises. Okay, so over here we have another bed, and also we have a desk that we can sit at, and I'm not really sure maybe what the feature of the desk is. I know in other games you can uh, write down uh, recipes and research certain things, so I haven't unlocked that in survival mode, so I can't 100% with certainty say what it's for. But, so there's that. And also, we have the, the shark heads, our victory trophies, if you would, mounted on the walls. Once again, there's a bed, and the bed allows us to go to sleep, get a good night's sleep, and wake up refreshed in the morning. I also have some pirate flags at the very top of this. So let's go straight into God mode and check, up, check out the top of that. So see, we got our pirate flags. And we can take an aerial view. Whoops. Okay, so I'm going up, 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 up. And then, yeah. See? An aerial view of our raft. I might make this the thumbnail, I think, in this video. So, there we go. So now that I have been able to give you guys sort of a little introduction to this game, oh man, we're gonna go into survival mode. And the reason why I didn't wanna spend a lot of time talking in survival mode with all this information is because survival mode, you are doing something every second of every minute. It's really busy, but it's fun. And um, so I guess let's get into it survival mode okay so we go click on home and then we are going to go on to survival now my survival one my shelter does not look as good as the other thing okay so I do have storage in here I'm gonna put my seeds away um, so oh yeah and the shark will attack in this one the shark kind of okay so the shark keeps its distance so right now I've got my food is just a little bit down and so is my water so let's go ahead and eat some fish and it took it away and I guess I'm gonna go over here and then click on the fish and it took that one away too why is it taking it away I'm... okay so it took all my fish away and it didn't add it to my storage down here so let's go ahead and bring that fish into this world right here by doing this. And I'm gonna click on that and see, I'm able to eat. So my, every time you eat, your water is gonna go down. So just be aware of that. 
Okay, so I was able to eat, so I'm gonna put that other fish in storage and I'm gonna bring down fish that hasn't been cooked so you guys can see how that works. So right here we have where we cook the fish. Put that down there, get all of these cooking at the same time and then keep my little inventory down here. Not too full. All right, so let's go ahead and get us some water since that is going down. Okay, so the water is over here and I've already purified it. So there's my cup of water. I'm gonna click on it. Ah, that was delicious and let's put it back. And now I've already added water up there. So right now it's gonna be purifying it. And let's just get one more sip. There we go. And put that there. Now I know that I've seen some boats recently. Because I have been playing this a little bit. I've become slightly obsessed with it. Because it's actually just really fun. Just the collecting of resources is really cool. I don't think I've collected anything since I just joined again but there's a bunch of resources coming towards us which usually means there might be a storm that's approaching because when there's a lot of resources like this actually I could probably just grab that there we go oh and I see these are really useful mm, so there we go and it's already collecting for us it's already paying off so that is really good. So do we see any resources? It's actually really dark at night. So I'll see there are all the stars. Oh, they're so pretty. I like it. And there's the moon. It's very pretty. Just I love the graphics. So because it is um, nighttime, let's just go ahead, sleep and Yay, it's daytime, so now we'll be able to see a lot better. It's harder at night to see the shark and where he actually is when he attacks. Um, so let's just take and survey for a second um, how many resources are out there. So there's a good amount here. All right, let's just bring this in. Did I get it? There we go. So in this game, what I will be doing is trying to survive as long as possible and collecting resources and keeping my, out, my eye out for rescue. But like I said, I've seen planes and I've seen um, different types of boats, but if I get rescued, um, you know, I can't, oh well, my gosh, I'm in the water. Oh, okay. Oh, that freaks me out because I don't want the shark to get me. If I get rescued, then I won't be able to like unlock everything, which is like my main goal. So I just want to be able to make a few videos on this before like I attempt that. And so you guys see our fish are already cooked for us. Um, I have the bucket that's already full. So if you look here at our water purifier, we can already see that the water is gone except for in the cup so we can refill that let's just add more water so it's ready to go for next time add some wood so it's ready see the water's gone there and then let's um, fill our bucket up again some water and then head over here put our water in and although i don't need the bucket right now for anything my storage is getting full. Let's just go ahead and fill that bucket up one more time. Yeah, I'm, I'm. my space is filling up. I have one chest that I showed you guys, which is right here. And so let's just go up here. And let me just open this real quick and check out. Okay, so yeah, I can store excess stuff up here. So let's put that there and put some of the seaweed that's accumulating there. Okay, so that should be good for right now. Okay, there we go. Lots of resources coming our way. Oh, I, I'm actually out of my hook. 
I need to construct a new one. So what we do is we click on the hook and we do craft and then we click the hook that's next to it that has the rope and we click craft and then that should give us a brand new hook and it didn't. Okay, so let's click this and click craft and we should have a brand new hook, yes. And also um, these items at the very bottom, you can notice that they're different colors. There's the hammer that looks like it's um, an, a dark orange color, a light orange color. And what that means is that eventually I will have to construct a new one because it's been used so many times. And also if you look at the hook, it's a green because I just constructed it. So it means that this will last me um, quite a bit. So I don't have to worry about that. The ones that are yellow are kind of, I would say medium use, but when you get to dark, dark orange or red, be prepared to run out and have that item break. Okay, and so our food is going down once again. Okay. So let's go ahead and eat. And replenish our hunger. So as you guys can see, our water went down. But let's just go ahead and just be proactive and do extra steps to help stay ahead of everything. And so because I did eat one fish and there's no, you know, there's one missing here. Let's go ahead and put that other one down. We're going to need to put some wood underneath there. And so that's going to cook up and be ready for us. And then we can head over here, grab a thing of water to drink. Okay. And that's not working for some reason. There we go. Now it's working. So now our thirst is replenished. That's going to make more water. And let's just take a look. See if we see any boats. Do I see any boats? Well, it's really, really overcast. So I don't think I'd see any boats or planes. Okay. So I'm going to leave the game here. And I'm really excited about this game. I really love it. Um, I've been anxious to record a video. I'm so glad I did. And I hope you guys like the uh, content because I will be playing this game more. I will be um, expanding on my raft. Um, and hopefully you guys join me with future episodes because I think this game has a lot to offer. And once again, the name of this game is survival on raft in the ocean and i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you guys in the next video